Hi everyone. My husband came down with a pretty bad flu. He rarely gets sick. And I was just about, he's, he's finally on the mend and he had a high fever for a while and a moderate fever for a while as well. And he's, so he's gone back to work and I am now going to disinfect the house. Now normally I use vinegar for cleaning, but vinegar doesn't disinfect. It doesn't kill flu viruses and things like that. So this is a really simple disinfectant that you can make that will kill mm, cold and flu viruses and germs on pretty much any surface and it's safe for most surfaces. Now peroxide will also work but peroxide can bleach out some things and it's probably something you don't want to put on everything. So what I'm going to be doing right now I have all the linens put in the washer on a hot wash and uh, we normally don't do hot washes but when there's a germ on the go we will and the inner pillows and things that I can't put in the washer I'm going to be spraying down with this disinfectant and hanging them out on the line in the sunshine because the UV light from the sunshine will also help kill some of those germs and then the rest of the surfaces is computer and things like that I'm going to spray down uh, let this dry and then go ahead and wipe it off after and all it is, is just go out and get yourself some inexpensive vodka. You can use rubbing alcohol, but I am actually allergic to rubbing alcohol. So, I'm not sure the isopropyl alcohol and me don't mix. So, I just go get some inexpensive vodka. And I'm going to fill a good spray bottle. One with a trigger. With the vodka. You want to label this a disinfectant. And then I'm going to use lemon oil. You can also just use lemon juice, but it may get sticky. Uh, you can use grapefruit um, extract, grapefruit seed extract, um, whatever is your favorite fragrance as well as uh, disinfecting essential oil. I don't like tea tree. I find it too harsh. So lemon is good for me, grapefruit, lime, any of the citruses are nice. I'm going to just put about for 5 to 10 drops in. And this is not really necessary, you don't need it, but it just makes things smell a little fresher. So that's it. So now this is your alcohol and, and your citrus essential oil or citrus juice. Shake it really good and this is a disinfecting spray now so you can spray doorknobs and hard surfaces even soft surfaces like I said I'm going to spray the pillows and then hang them out in the sunshine washing everything in um, hot water today our sheets and linens and now it's time to disinfect the house so if you're looking for a good disinfectant spray you can put this in a smaller bottle and uh, use it like as you're, you know, if you're out and about and you want to clean doorknobs, spray doorknobs or anything like that. If you wanted a disinfecting spray to carry with you or in and around the house, this is a good disinfecting spray. If you are using this outside of your home because it does contain vodka, I suggest adding an essential oil that's a non-edible essential oil or one that's a little stronger that may deter anybody who might feel like they want to drink it <laughs> and uh, that's it so hope you guys stay safe during the uh, cold and flu season uh, we tend to get it around spring for some reason but we usually are pretty good with uh, on avoiding getting the flu but this time my husband got it and uh, he recovered after about a week so that's pretty good so, oh, time to go and disinfect the house. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy disinfectant spray that you can make for killing cold and flu germs and viruses.